uh, when we look at sperm production, uh, we actually have to look at the semen report of the man concerned. And when we look at the semen report of the man concerned, we find that there could be issues either with the count, the shape of the sperm or the movement of the sperm. So there could be deficiencies in either one or all three. Uh, then we look back at the patient per se. In many circumstances, we don't actually uh, see any significant medical problems with the men concerned. So this is why men should come forward for sperm test. And uh, as I can tell you now nowadays, I do see right up to 40 to 50 percent of men uh, coming to the clinic having issues. So it's very important that we do check the men. And uh, when we look at causes very rarely we find that they have uh, you know medical problems like diabetes uncontrolled hypertension or they could be having other uh, hormonal problems okay or they could be having issues with the testes itself but generally most men don't have any problems but it's just the lifestyle that we lead nowadays okay it could be you know the the, the stress that we are you know most most men and women undergo and number two is also the environmental factors you know the toxins the pollutants that are around that actually cause harm to the sperm itself so that is one of the main problems that we see well one we do suggest quite a number of supplements for the men to take Number two, obviously, it's the lifestyle. So obviously, we do encourage healthy lifestyle. That means do do exercise, m monitor your body weight. Obviously, stop smoking. You know if that is a problem. And uh, if they are on, I mean, if they do consume a large amount of alcohol or you know other things, they should consider cutting the amount of alcohol intake down. So those things do contribute positively, uh, but that that alone may not be sufficient so this is where after doing all the changes we do assess them after three months and see how it goes sometimes we have to go to further steps like IVF or sometimes IUI you know because we find that the sperm counts are actually too low for natural conception